another Fit Friday with Jenna and Sarah. So today we are going to take you guys through a lower body leg workout. But to start, we're gonna get warmed up with a two minute jog. All right, so we are going to jog in place. So let's go. Get if you food. want, you can jog around your room that you're in right now if you have the space for it. Yes, it can get boring sometimes to stay in one place. So if you want, go ahead and jog around in circles or back and forth. Just got to get that heart rate up. All right, keep it going. If you need to take a break and either march in place or walk fast in place, feel free to do that too. Alrighty, we're halfway there. Keep going, we got a minute left. You guys got it. Keep it up, we're almost there. Ten more seconds, guys. to start with some squats. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart. For your hands, you can either keep them on your hips or I like to have my hands out in front of me. We're going to bend our knees down like we're sitting in a chair. And Sarah's showing a good side view of what this should look like. Alrighty, we're gonna do 10 of these squats together. All right, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. Next up, we've got side lunges. So for these, we're going to have our feet in a nice wide stance. And we're going to start by bending on the left side. So we're going to bend our left knee. And then we're going to straighten that left knee and go over and bend that right knee. So for these, we're going to do 10 on each side. So let's start together. So that was one, one two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Next up, we have some normal lunges. So we're going to do forward lunges. So for these, we're going to keep our feet shoulder width apart. And I'll show a forward view and Sarah will be showing a nice side view. And we're going to start by stepping forward with our left leg and then bend in that left knee. Your front leg is going to be about a 90 degree angle. And come back together and then do it again with the other leg. Step on out and get that 90 degree angle. And both knees are going to be bending. Yep. All right, let's do these together. We're gonna to do 10 on each side, all right? Make sure we keep our back nice and straight during this exercise. 
That's one. Two. Two. And a good way to make sure you're going down far enough is if you want to touch that back knee to the floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and ten. Nice. Next up we've got some heel raises. So we're also going to be shoulder width apart for this one. Again, the hands can stay at your sides or go on your hips, wherever you feel most comfortable. And we're going to lift our heels up off the ground and go on our toes. So from the side, we're lifting those heels up, working those calf muscles, and lowering back down. All right, we're going to do 10 of these together. Going up, one, two. Try to be slow on your way back three, down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. All right. Our next leg exercise are going to be some side leg raises. So for this one, if you feel like you have the balance, you can do it on your own. Or if you have a wall nearby, you can hang onto the wall doing this one. What we're going to be doing is we're going to keep our left leg planted on the ground. We're going to start with that right leg and we're just going to lift up. It doesn't have to be high. We're just going to lift up to a comfortable height and we can hang onto the wall for help for this one. We're going to do 10 on the right leg first. Let's go together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna be lifting that left leg and keeping that right leg planted on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay nice and slow and controlled. Nine and ten. Good job. Alrighty, so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to go back to the beginning of this video and you're going to want to repeat this part two more times and then we're going to take you through a stretch. So go back and rewind, do this leg workout two more times and then you're going to meet back with us for a nice stretch. Alright, so to start for our stretch we're going to do some toe touches. So we can have our feet shoulder width apart, we're going to bend at the waist and reach our fingers towards those toes. So what it's going to look like from the side. Try to reach those toes. If you can't reach those toes, that's okay. You can go as low as you can. If that's your knees, perfect. Your shins, great. If you can touch those toes, try to though. We're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Feeling a nice stretch in the back of our legs. do a stretch for our quads. So we're going to start on the right side. So we're going to grab the top of our right foot with our right hand behind us. So try to kick your butt and then grab your foot. So you're going to have your heel touching your butt or close to and you can even use the wall to support you during this stretch. So we're going to get into a position. We're going to hold this one for about 20 seconds on each side. We want to make sure we're staying straight up. We don't want to be hunched over or anything. We're going to keep our back straight in this exercise. 
And as we said, if you're starting to lose your balance, it's okay to hold onto a wall or a chair. All right, we're gonna switch sides so you can let go of that right foot. Now we're gonna grab our left foot with our left hand, holding it behind us. And we're gonna hold this one for about 20 seconds. And this one, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the front of that left leg on our quad muscles. And again, you can hold onto a chair or the wall to stable yourself. All right, you can let go. And our last stretch we're gonna do is a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna start with putting our right foot in front of our left foot. And then we're going to bend at the waist, keeping those legs straight, feeling a stretch in the back of our leg. And we're gonna hold this one for 20 seconds on each side. It's kinda like our first stretch that we did. Reaching as low as you can go. If you can only go to your knee and you can feel the stretch, that's okay, or if you can go and reach almost to your toes, good. All right, we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna show you a side view on this one. So we got that left foot in front this time, bending at the waist, reaching towards our left foot. Holding for another 20 seconds. And again, just go as low as you can go if that's your knee. Awesome, if you can get down to your foot, great. All right. Good that, job, everybody. That's, that's it for today. Wraps up another Fit Friday. We'll see you, you next, next week. week.